Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go Welcome back to another episode of Zoa Tank Boys. In this episode, guys, we're going to talk about something that we never talk about, and that is SPS. Now, if you are a expert with SPS, just stick around for the entertainment, because uh, I'm by no means an expert with SPS. But I'm super excited because if you've been following the channel, you've been noticing that I've been teasing a little bit of SPS in the Reef Tank. And yes, I'm in the car, and the reason I'm in the car is I'm going to an LFS because I'm hoping to pick up some more SPS frags. Now, if you guys don't know what SPS stands for, it's Stone Polyp Stony, so pretty much a hard coral. I'm on the way. They have a whole bunch of cool stuff. And if you watched last week's video, there was like a $10 frag section, so I'm gonna go back because, you know, cheap frags. Who doesn't like that? Don't forget, the easiest way to support this channel is to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, the channel's been blowing up. Instagram's been blowing up. So we want to say we appreciate all the support. And um, this is just the beginning. So keep going. Let's keep going. What should I say? Um, yeah, let's go. I'm here at the LFS and I told them to give me four or five random SPS. That way it's kind of like a mystery pack. So I could have some fun and try some corals I've never tried. So let's see what we get. I just got home. The corals are in the bag. I do have the orange filter on. So I'm going to add a little rock right there, which I have up there um, for the chalice. Yes, that is dry rock. Um, I don't think it'll cause a mini cycle because it's a small rock in retrospect. The SPS, I'm actually going to put the frag rack back up there. That way they can acclimate and um, do well. But yeah, tank's looking super good. I'll show you guys a peak, um, a nice little peak um, in a little bit. But yeah, so let's put the rock right there because I want to show you the chalice that I got. It's insane. So in this bag, I have a whole bunch of frags. Um, the only thing that I know that's in here is a really awesome chalice that I picked out. I mean, it's a decent size too. But um, yeah, let's unbag this. Actually, come over here. I don't know, if the, is the lighting good here? It'd be better at the table, but. All right, let's go to the table. Is that better? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So let's go through some of these sticks. Remember, um, I'm a beginner with this. So first one that we have is the green slimer. So this is one that I've always heard is good as a beginner SPS um, keeper. I've actually was looking for this one, so I'm glad I got this. So you got the green slimer. We have the PC Rainbow. Now this one popped off the frag on the way home, so I gotta glue it back on there, but PC Rainbow, pretty cool. And I can't wait to see what these corals look like under the blues because I only run blue spectrum. So, you know, you'll really be able to see the colors on there. Jason Fox, Fox Flame, pretty cool. The Glow Stick. 
And I am gonna dip all these guys because I know um, this LFS is a good reputable LFS. However, um, I would hate to kind of introduce any type of pests. So, Rainbow Millipora. And that one's already encrusting into the frag. This is a chunky one. The Thing and Acropora. That's a big frag. Looks to be kind of like a green color. And then of course, I picked this one out myself and this is a really nice chalice. I forgot the name of the chalice. Yeah, I'll look into it, see if I remember, but it's a big chunky piece. So I'm gonna dip the SPS. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, well, yeah, I'll dip the chalice too, just to be safe. And I'm not gonna walk you through that process, guys, because we have already have a couple videos doing that. Um, pretty much I'm using some Coral RX. I'm gonna turkey baste them just to make sure everything is good. And then they're going onto the frag rack. The only thing that's not going onto the frag rack, I believe is the chalice and maybe the Anacropora because that is a really big frag. So let's get to work. I'm gonna place this on the sand bed like this and I'm gonna put the chalice right on top of it. So again, it's a small piece of dry rock. Shouldn't create a cycle. I don't recommend it um, unless you have a lot of rock. So like that. Oh, I think it looks better like that. I kinda, I kinda like that there. We have that there. Got my little stick. I'm thinking placing it right here. Yeah, that would be perfect there. Now I want to get my bone cutters. I do want to cut it off the peg. Question is where are my bone cutters? here. I want to be super careful because I don't want to damage the coral. Good. Thank you. All right. I'm going to put a little glob of glue. That looks good. And this is going straight in. Guys, when you see the color on this, you want to work it in there because it does. Wanted to adhere. Hi, gold. Yeah, it looks crazy. But I might move it a little bit this way. Just to be a little, you know, just to be safe from the frog spawn. Pretty good to me. 
What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. All right, guys, so I picked this little live rock from my sump. And I'm thinking of building kind of like a little bridge so that I can put that SPS on there. That's why it's always good to have a little bit of live rock in the sump, not too much, because it could become a nitrate factory, but a small amount. So that way you can have some fun with this. Now I want to make sure there's no bristle worms on here, because God knows. God knows I'm the king of getting stung by bristle worms. So I'm gonna put this here. It'll hold, it's just gonna take a minute. And then I'm gonna add the, the Anacropora. I think it was called the Thing Anacropora because that's the biggest frag. And honestly, it looks like almost like a mini colony. We're almost there. And the goal is to have them right here. That would look nice, right? Mm-hmm. Let me pop the frag off of it. Bro. Are you kidding? No. And I was just gonna tell you, it looked like deer antlers. I mean, I can glue it back together. It's not a deer. Yeah, but still. I mean, that's impossible for me not to. All right, guys. So that did happen. Not the end of the world. I'll just glue it as it was. Maybe I'll put it somewhere else. It was on top. Look like right there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Reefers, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zola Tank Boys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, leave me some tips, because I really want to make these SPS grow. I'm thinking of the future, dosing, checking parameters, all that fun stuff. But yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Until next time, Zola Tank Boys out!